Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a weekly review and I've been pretty consistent with these weekly reviews so I'm happy about that and this is for the week of September 16th and so far so good. I First I want to say I hope you guys are having a good week. I initially filmed this video on Friday and was intended to put it up then but didn't so it is now Saturday. Well, basically Sunday. <laughs> um, and so far, so good with this. This is the French planner. I got this planner from Staples. But someone commented on one of my previous videos and said that the French planners are in um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I believe she said. But I really like them. So I... No, I'm not. I was just going to say, I just may go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and see if I can find it. But this one actually lasts all the way up into halfway point of next year. So, this is good. So far, so good. I am trying to work on, you know, focusing and staying on one thing and not really looking too far into anything else. Uh, definitely look out for my videos and subscribe if you haven't already done so next week i plan on doing a little chit chat about what i plan on using for 2025 as it is soon to approach um i don't know it seems so weird it seems like we just started this year and yet this year is ending so right off the bat i did this week in some like fall vibes even though it was pretty much 90s <laughs> this whole week which is so weird um next week seems like it's gonna be a mixture of weather but yeah um one thing i like about this is i don't feel the need to fill up every single space in here one thing that I noticed I've been doing different in this planner than any other ones is I'm not putting so many stickers right off the bat. Now, I do want to use my stickers up, but I haven't just been throwing them and placing them anywhere and then trying to write around them. I really want to make sure that I'm focusing on it being functional. So I want to make sure that I have room for everything and then worry about decorating afterwards. The only thing that I'm not too fond of in here is Saturday and Sunday because it's very, <clears throat> excuse me, it's very, like, short. Um, yeah, it's, it's not as big a space as the rest. It's almost like I didn't have that one, um, that one block or roll down. So, yeah, that's the only thing that I don't too much like. But it's still okay because I'm not necessarily putting things specific to that day that I want to do. If I don't do it that day and it's wrong on the next day and one day it's filled already, then I'll just gladly put in them the next line or the next day over. That doesn't really bother me too much because... I um, see the full week on two pages, so I don't have to, it's not that serious for me. Um, so as you can see right here, I am just putting in my functional stickers, which I'm trying to also use up, but I really like them because I'm able to see at a glance kind of like what I've already done that week. The trackers that I put on the post-it notes are working really good. I feel like it's saving a lot of space, but still giving me some of what I wanted or used to have in um, the planners that I did in the composition notebook. So I'm still able to track, which is important to me. Tracking kind of keeps me on track, I'll say. It lets me know what I'm doing and not doing. Um, and I, I don't take it so seriously where I'm really down on myself about it. It's more so I just look at it like a stoplight, like things that I'm doing really good, things that mm, could be a problem or in the process of getting better or things that's like really a red flag, like, hey, you really need to look at this. And excuse my voice, I am still um, 
<laughs> getting over and battling ulcerative with sinus. I am, I've been trying to think of like when I want to like for real, for real, seriously, intentionally start with um, natural sort of ways of trying to address my sinus issues since it seems as if from a medical standpoint it's hard for them to do so I'm just putting in some to do's right here for the weekend but I I know you can see because it's pretty big the grief workshop so Thursday I was off of work on Thursday I did a grief workshop the end and it was voluntary it wasn't anything that was mandated or required for me to do and it was something that and it was my off day and it was at nine o'clock in the morning so I wasn't too happy about the time one of my co-workers sent me the email that she had gotten and because she knows how I've been really trying to study grief and be more educated around grief in all areas. So she passed along to me. I, def- I signed up as soon as I got the email and it was absolutely amazing. A lot of the information was, I guess you could say, not so beginner, but somewhat beginner. So some of the things I was aware of, however, it was very educational. The beauty of it was my mom, and it was through a webinar. So the beauty of it was my mom was here, and she listened to the whole workshop as well, and she really got a lot from it. And I, my mom, I was, I can say, it's kind of like she's been learning and more open to learning about mental health since I've been going to school for it and in it and all of that. So she has become a lot more educated about a lot of things, which is totally awesome. Um, slight break right there. You see me. I like having that um, monthly view. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a different video, but I love having that monthly view because it just shows me what I need to do for that month, what I haven't been doing, um, and what I still need to do. This, I told you all, is the first, is that Dollar Tree planner that I was using for an actual planner, but now I'm using it for expense tracking. So you'll just see me kind of go through updating some things that... Um, I use it. So you see me doing that. But the grief workshop was amazing because I felt like initially it was an awakening for me. Initially, I was like, I think to learn more about grief to better service the clients that I run across on a daily basis and be able to empower them and educate them as well but Thursday was a little bit different it was something I did for myself and it was also something that I considered to be self-care because it was something that I needed as well and I realized when looking at the webinar that I I knew I hadn't addressed the brief with my nephew being killed and I also know that with that came anxiety and some traumatic stress, you know, and it has altered the way that I move in the environment and in life. And I think I just never really addressed this. No, I think I know I never really addressed it. I kind of put it on the back burner, which is what I do quite a bit for a lot of things that are heavy. And I think I do that because I have so much responsibilities and so much that's been heavy in my life lately until I just never really wanted to deal with it. But it was it was just a good eye opener for me. I would encourage you all to do things that challenge you. Do things that make you afraid. Um, not to the point where it's going to be like... A, a bad thing to do where it's going to hinder you more than help you but do things like I encourage you to just step out and do things especially if it's to the benefit of yourself because yourself enables you to help those around you and just the same day to day so I was so so happy I did that um 
right here you see me filling out um, I showed you guys before this is the Erin Condren wellness log or wellness planner that I came back in because I kind of want to finish this off. I like the layout. Um, I was having trouble keeping up with my food and like food logging as well as exercise in the other planner. This is a lot more simpler for me because it has both on both pages. It's really easy to fill out. Um, so I went back in here to finish this book off. So this week that I'm using here is a week from a previous month that I didn't use. So I want to use those and this coming week I'll use another sheet because they give you like five for each month and I just used a, a different one and these stickers also came with this planner so yeah um, next week I'll use it's the last week so I'll use um, another random one from a different month and then that way I'll do a video for October starting off a full month and do the whole like filling and process with you all um, but I really like this this is my first time using the stickers that they gave and I really do want to start keeping better track of my health. I have noticed that I cannot ignore it anymore. I really need to get serious about it and that is something that I plan to start doing next week intentionally. Not all at once, but little small things um, that will hopefully add up to bigger things. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you all in the next video.